Hello and welcome. I'm Steve Tingay from MashMe and this is the MashMe webinar series. Today we'll be looking at Mentimeter, the exciting interactive presentation software which integrates into the MashMe collaboration space and allows content to be referenced directly via the MashMe shared memory. For today's scenario, we'll consider the concept of a hybrid training room with several students physically in the room and several students connected virtually to the MashMe video wall. The presenter will be in the physical room. We've already created the Mentimeter presentation, so we'll be showing you how simple it is to integrate this to MashMe and launch your presentation directly from the MashMe resource space, giving your participants a seamless experience. First thing, we're going to go into Mentimeter and find our presentation. I've already created this one here called My First Presentation. So I'm going to come into the presentation itself. This is a single slide presentation. You can see we already have some results. We'll just uh, ignore that for a second. And I'm going to come up to the sharing section up here in the top. There's several things we're going to grab from here. Uh, the first one is we're going to take the quick voting code and we're going to paste that into MashMe so that we have that in the chat section ready to go later on. So let's go to our MashMe space. Here we go and put it into the room chats. Go to enter www.menti.com and paste this in here. Now this will allow anybody who's physically in the classroom to enter via a mobile phone or tablet or even on their PC using that URL and the code, the, the numeric code that follows it. Uh, there are other ways to do this as well, including using a QR code, but for the simplest way, we're just going to use it like this. Now we'll go back to our Mentimeter presentation and we're going to get the participant link. So I'm going to copy the link here and then take that back to our room. So we're now going to create some new uh, MashMe resources. So we're going to choose Mentimeter here and we're going to make the question. In this case, uh, what should we call my new puppy? So what shall we call our new puppy? And I paste the link in here. Create, as soon as we create it, it will open it, but I'm just gonna close this down again until we are finished. We're going to go back into Mentimeter and go to the presentation sharing link and I'm going to get the, the the results link from here back to mash me again create Mentimeter and now this is how we're going to show the results um, my new puppy name suggestions I'm just putting R in front to show it as results just to make it simple when we look back at it I paste the link in there and again it will open but we'll close that down just one more thing back into mentimeter and under the participation link we have the download qr code if you wanted to use qr codes you can copy that across to mashme as well and then show that on your video wall so that the students in the room can access it so we'll just come back and now we're going to go into mashme and show you how easy it is to show this off. When you have your students in the physical classroom, as we said, they're going to use the link which is in the chat. Yeah, so we go to room chats and they'll be able to see this on the video wall. For the students who are remote, who are virtual, you can start by asking the question. So you open the Mentimeter question link. You must make sure that you unlock it using this here. And then the students can enter their keywords in and they can vote. So every student will have a, a, their own view of this. It's anonymous and they will be able to enter their results in here, then submit it and it will all collate into the results uh, sheet. Once you've finished as a presenter, we can close that down and now it's time to pull the results up. We can open the results page and immediately you can see the results that have already been submitted as this wasn't a new presentation, you can see the ones that I put in earlier. But if you had students actually voting at the time, this would be increased in, in content. So it's as simple as that. To get the interaction 
uh, into MashMe is very straightforward. Once you're done, you can close this down. You can see that they stay as resources in the room and the students can refer back to them and open them again at their own will. Uh, meanwhile, you can get on and you can present other sections to the audience. I hope you found that quick integration really helpful. If you have any more questions, please contact us on sales at syncrtc.com or on CSM at syncrtc.com to access the customer services team. Or you might feel you just want to go to our support knowledge base on help.mashme.io, where we have lots of solutions and knowledge base articles that will help you with your use of Mashme. Thank you very much.